As California struggles under the radical left-wing policies of Governor Gavin Newsom, many residents say they've had enough. One America's Pearson Sharp explains why Californians are taking steps to have Newsom recalled from office. California Governor Gavin Newsom's disastrous policies are leaving many Californians with a serious case of buyer's remorse. The Golden State's latest governor is quickly making a name for himself as an enemy of businesses and residents and an ally of illegal aliens and criminals. Once he became governor, Gavin rejected massive pushback from voters and doubled down on his leftist immigration policies, declaring that California was officially a sanctuary state. But the governor took his sanctuary policy a step further, and when President Trump sent troops down to protect California's border, Gavin pulled them away and put them on other duties. Beginning this summer, Gavin generously expanded California's health care program to cover 100,000 illegal aliens at a cost of over $100 million to taxpayers. And over 70% of these aliens will end up on welfare. Currently, Californians spend more than $30 billion a year just supporting illegal aliens. But while Gavin is spending billions on illegals, one-third of all the people on welfare in the entire United States are in California. And one out of four people in the state is below the poverty line. And in another blow that hits struggling residents hardest, a new tax on gas and vehicle registration puts California's gas a full dollar higher than the national average, taking $5.4 billion out of hardworking families' pocketbooks every year. But Gavin already has a proven track record of ignoring the will of the voters. While California's residents voted to not only support the death penalty, but speed it up, Gavin dismissed their vote with an executive order and instead granted a reprieve to 737 gang members, mass murderers, rapists, and other violent criminals. As a result, a growing number of Californians are pushing to have the governor recalled. Aaron Cruz, CEO of RAN Action Fund and the lead proponent for recalling Gavin Newsom, has launched a petition to recall the governor, which has officially been approved by the California Secretary of State. For residents interested in signing the petition, Cruz urges them to visit the website www.recallgavinnow.com. Once there, any registered voter can print out a copy of the petition on an 8.5 by 14 inch legal paper, fill out all sections on the form, mail it to the address on your screen, or leave it at an approved drop-off location. Cruz says that while the window to recall the governor is now open, Californians will have to act fast. The deadline to collect at least 1.5 million signatures is February 15th of next year. After the deadline, the signatures will be certified, an election will be held, and if a new candidate is elected, Newsom will be forced to resign. With less than a year under his belt as California's newest governor, Gavin Newsom is creating a legacy of putting his own agenda ahead of the state and federal laws, as well as California's voters. That's why Californians are finally sending him a message loud and clear. It's time to get out. Pearson Sharp, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.